Hello everyone, welcome to Kakao's Hideout. I am Kakao Konami. I'm going to do a video reading at uh, this time naman po for um people who were born in the year of the monkey. So just like po nung mga ano Tagalog na zodiac uh, forecasts ko, this will include uh money forecast uh for the ano year 2020. And um, also love forecast for both monkey singles and monkeys in a relationship. Okay, so again, general forecast, collective, samatamaan lang. If hindi nagre-resonate, please do not take the message and check other YouTube readers. Okay, and um, if you would like to have a personal reading with me, it's going to be a paid personal reading. Just check the description box below and dyan po yung Facebook page link ko. And, ano pa ba? If you have any uh, suggestions for topics na gusto nyong uh, itackle ko for, uh, choose a number of readings, comment lang rin po. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to use this Sasha Fenton deck to represent you, uh, monkey. And this is going to be the... Uh, in um tawag nito nantok na ako eh <laughs> so the right away deck will be or the right away cards will be the source of clarifying cards and magre-represent kay partner mo mamaya sa in a relationship reading okay let's start and the messages please for people born in the year of the monkey regarding their money for the next year for 2020. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. So, more on assessment. Anong mga gagastusin? Gagastusin? <laughs> Anong mga gagas gagastusin? Ano yung pag-iipunan? Ano yung, ano, willing kang walasan ng pera? So, let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Just to be specific of paano. Para saan to? Ano tong, ano, dapat mong i-assess for year 2020? Two of Pentacles upright. So, alin yung, ano, so, ang two of Pentacles is pros and cons ng isang business, maybe project, investment, career choice. Kung alin ba yung swak na tutugon sa expenses mo? Anong Anong source ang magiging stable para tutugon sa expenses mo? Now, <clears throat> what you need to do about this? Upon, ano, itong assessment na to, anong dapat mong tutukan? King of Wands reversed. So, huwag kang mag stay sa situation na, again, Wands is about passion. Hindi ka naman talaga interested in the first place. So, kung ikaw yung, ano, type ng tao na kasi malaki yung sweldo, dun na lang. So, maybe this year of the rat, rat ng 2020 na. So, next year, mas maganda siguro mag-focus dun sa trabaho na, ano, yung passion mo talaga. Yung kahit, ano, yung parang baliwala na lang sa yung sweldo kasi hindi ka stressed. Now, to clarify the King of Wands reversed, uh, pero sandali, ang pumasok sa isip ko, King of Wands reversed is also a married guy. Or, ano, pero mostly, ano, married guy. Um, Queen of Wands reversed is, ano siya eh, yung ayaw mag-commit. Pero, King of Wands reversed, ito yung committed na sa iba, pero tumitikin pa rin sa, ano, hindi niya ha partner. So, maybe you're thinking about ano, yung parang I'm not, I'm not saying na ano, most of you ganun, pero so far, wala naman ko kalarang ganun, pero ano, maybe consider mo yung offer ng isang taong may asawa. So, please don't. <laughs> Yun. Baka natitempt ka, maybe masyado na mahirap ang buhay. Tapos kung papaya ka sa gusto niya, he'll provide everything. 
Now to clarify the king of wands. Five. Ayun. Five of cups upright. Ang five of cups. Uh, reverse. So five of cups upright. Nangihinayang ka. Hindi mo natapon tong tatlong to. Pero kung lilingon ka lang. May iba pang may laman sa likod mo. So in this case. This king of wands. Kung ito yung nag offer ng maginhawang buhay sa'yo, if in return, meron kang gagawin kahit may asawa siya, then, 501 reversed is an indication na may iba pa dyan, may iba pa dyan, lingon ka lang, hanapin mo lang na maayos. Yun. Huwag kang mag-focus dun sa hindi mo kaya, hindi yung nawala na, kasi meron pang ibang pwede nga, ano, pwede mong pagtuunan ng pansin. So, if i-apply natin to dun sa may asawa, baka meron namang nagkakagusto sa'yo na maybe wala pang, wala pang pera ngayon, pero kung pagsusumikapang mong tulo, o magsusumikap kayong dalawa, magtuturuan kayong dalawa. Lalo na kung aminado ka namang disiplinado, aminado ka namang loyal, faithful, tapos maayos magtrabaho. And there's a big possibility na wala tong binatbat sa king of wands na to. So, it's not just the the money that makes the person. Eh. Sometimes the person makes the money, <laughs> di ba? So, kahit mayaman to, kung, kung ano naman, kung tawag ito, bulagsak naman sa pera, ano nga yun? O, kaysa dun sa, maybe merong dyan nasa tabi-tabi na mahirap ngayon, pero one day, with the right partner, with the right mindset, mas mayaman pa dito in the future. So, yun. Lingon-lingon din pag may time. Huwag kang mag-focus dun sa anjan lang. Kasi, yan yung nakita mo. Yung nasarapan mo. So, lingon-lingon rin pag may time. Maraming options. Now, if you're going to apply this dun sa second scenario, I mean, sa first scenario na, yung passion, passion mo ang susundin mo pagdating sa trabaho, still applicable, yun nga. Yung, hindi porke malaki ang sweldo dyan, dyan ka na lang. Kasi may iba pang option. Maybe, yung option na yun, hindi pa available ngayon, pero kung gagawan mo ng paraan, ikaw ang magpo-provide ng option na yun. Not just for yourself, pero sa, para rin sa ibang tao. So, think, and explore your, ano, options. Pray. Para mas ma, ano, mas madali. San ba, san, ano ba, ano bang papasukin mo, ano bang dapat mong gawin. Now, if you're going to do just that, possible outcome is, yun. Hindi ka makokontrol ng iba. Hindi ikaw yung magiging puppet lang ng someone na kontrolado yung process mo. Kasi ang emperor upright, ito yung bibigyan ka ng pera, bibigyan ka ng resources, tapos dyan ka na. Tinulungan ka na eh. Ito, bibigyan ka ng pera, bibigyan ka ng ano, items, na materials. Pero ako magsasabi anong gagawin mo, saan mo gagastusin, saan ka pupunta. Dapat according sa gusto ko. Ganon ang emperor reverse. So, if you're going to um, to look for new options, hindi yung mag stay ka lang sa situation kasi yan lang yung, ano, yan lang yung available, yan lang yung tingin mo, kaya mo, then there's a big possibility na makakawala ka sa ganitong situation, makakawala ka sa, ano, control ng iba, tas mas may explore mo pa yung, ano, yung abilities mo, maybe as a businessman, maybe as something else. Something more different than what you are right now. So there. That's for you, num uh, number one. Hindi <laughs> kasi choose the number pagkatapos ito eh. So that's for you, monkeys. So, um, if you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay. So, let's proceed.
sa single na monkeys. Any messages please regarding sing uh, love for single monkeys. At nagflip C, Queen of Wands, and Two of Cups. So maybe you're going to find someone na, ano, magiging counterpart mo na, Two of Cups, give, give and take ng emotions. Queen of Wands is through, ano, someone who's confident, sexy, someone independent, or this can be you man na magta-transform sa ganitong classing energy. So maybe 2019 was very awkward pagdating sa love life mo. Parang wala kang hindi mo alam paano sasabihin, paano paano mag-express ang emotions. But for 2020, Queen of Wands, either ito makikilala mo na tutug na na tuturuan ka maging confident or ikaw tong magta-transform mismo sa sarili mo into a very confident person. Or this can be someone confident na ikaw na. Yung parang ano, ikaw ang pipiliin. Or confident ka rin piliin siya. Now, anong maganda gawin about this situation? Hierophant upright. So, kung ano lang yung ano, yung parang kung ano sa tingin mo yung tama, yun lang ang i-uphold mo. Kung ano sa tingin mo yung nakasanayan sa'yo ng tao, kasi yun yung mahal nila, parang yun. Yun lang ang i-ano mo. Parang, ang message ng Hierophant sa Single Monkeys for 2020 is, stay as you are. Hindi mo na kailang mag-transform into something na, or into someone na hindi naman, hindi mo naman targa ugali, para magkaroon ng love life. Parang, mahalin mo sarili mo, kung ano sa tingin mo yung tama, kung ano yung mga nakasanayan mo, mga na, na ituro sa'yo na no doubt naman tumatalab, na hindi nakakasira ng reputation mo, stick ka lang doon. Tapos wait ka lang. Kasi may, may queen of ones kang paparating. So, it's either Aris, uh, Leo, or Virgo, uh, or maybe Virgo. Baka kasali rin si Virgo. So, maybe Aris, Leo, Sagittarius ang zodiac sign. Or, Aris, Leo, Sagittarius ang ugali. So, anong ugali ng fire signs? Passionate, adventurous, independent. Matitigas ang ulo, ayaw pagsabihan kung anong dapat nilang gawin. Versatile, spontaneous. Uh, on the spur of the moment, the decisions. Okay, go, push. Ganon ang anong fire signs. So, maybe you're thinking about a fire sign. So, yun. Hierophant ang advice. Stay as you are. No need na mag-transform na or mag-change ng ways para mas maging in, mas maging attractive, mas maging on-trend. No, there's no need ang, ang Hierophant. Parang kung ano yung reputation mo, kung ano yung nakasanayan mo, lalong-lalo na kung sa ganong paraan kami nahal ng tao, then be like that, stay like that. And if you're going to do just that, possible outcome is Ermit Reverse. So, yung mga taong hindi ka pinapansin kasi merong ano, merong nawala sa kanila. Maybe mga jowa nila dati na pinagkakaabalahan nila. There's a big possibility na mapansin ka nila kanya, uh, in ano, 2020. To clarify lang yun. Nine of Pentacles. So, mai-share na nila yung ano nila, yung, yung sadness nila. Maybe this, maybe you're someone na takbuhan ng mga tao pagka may problema, pagka kailangan ng advice, kasi yung nga, Hierophant ke. Ito yung ano yung pare. Again, um, pong hapasok sa, sa isip ko pagka nakikita kong Hierophant, si Mang Kevin sa Humalong Dariles. Yung parang ganun na, ano, mahal ng lahat, napagkakatiwalaan ng lahat. Yung, ano, yung parang buong-buo yung good na reputation niya, yung stable na reputation niya to the point na kahit mga bago niyang kakilala, ginagalang siya. So, maybe may ganun kang ugali na through ano, through being loyal, being honest and committed ano, parang yun yung makaka-attract sa'yo ng, ano, ng, ng love. Merong someone na ano, maybe masyadong nag-focus dun sa nawala sa kanila 
parang about sa pera yung nawala sa kanila, siguro, pinag, siguro pinirahan lang ng partner. And again, I mentioned earlier, Virgo, Hermit card is a Virgo. So maybe you're involved, uh, you're this coming, ano, 2020 Virgo ang, ano. Virgo ang paparating with fire sign na ugali. So yun. Stay what you are, huwag kang magbago ng pan- pananamit. Ang pumasok kasi sa isip ko yung ano, yung conservative tapos dahil nga frustrated na ano, frustrated na walang love life, biglang magpapasexy. So parang the hierophant as an advice, ang na nasisense ko dun is there's no need na gawin mo yun. Parang makaka-attract ka ng, ng love based lang sa kung ano ka. So there. <clears throat> That's for you, monkey singles. Let's proceed. Kay monkey in a relationship. Any messages, please, regarding love for monkey in a relationship. At lumabas uli si Hierophant. Commitment ang, ang Hierophant loyalty. Um, promises, vows. So, ano to? Uh, kasala na. So, if this is about monkey in a relationship na kasal na, meron siguro ano, renewal of vows o meron siguro promise na hindi na tupad 2019 for some reason pumasok sa kokote ko travel abroad. So, maybe 2019 pinangakuan ka muta travel somewhere, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Vietnam, or Europe. Tapos, sa 2020, there's a big possibility na, ma- na mangyari na yun, or matupad na yun. Now, <clears throat> tumalon si Three of Swords. As an advice, wag kang mag-inarte, yun ang pumasok sa isip ko. Siguro kasi dati hindi na tupad yung promise, parang, ay nako, pat ngayon pa to, 2020 na, parang ganun. So, wag ganun. Kung, kung merong mga sadness kasi hindi na to pa dati, huwag ganun. Now to clarify three of swords, please. Ayun, tumalon si seven of swords upright. Mm. So maybe merong renewal of vows. Kasi mayroong cheating na nangyari. Tapos may heartbreak. Oh, so sad. So maybe mayroong nabuking na ng babae, ng lalaki. Tapos 2020 will be the year for, ano, yun nga, renewal of vows or rekindling the, ano, the love, kumbaga. And as an advice, this is an indication na, ano, Huwag mo nang ulitin. Kung nagloko ka man. Or kung niloko ka man, huwag iba pagpuntanan mo ng heartaches mo. Let's see kung meron pa bang ano. About sa promises. Mm, wala na akong maisip. We'll see kung anong result. Now for the result. If you're going to do as advised, yung hindi ka na magtatago ng, o maglilihim ng kung ano-ano pa para ano, wala nang ma-misunderstand, ma- wala nang ma-misinterpret. Ang, mag- ang mangyayari is, yun, three of cups of pride, celebration, wedding, uh, reunion. So, I always see three of cups uh, as the two of you being guided by by God and by the most powerful kung ano mang pinaniniwalaan mo. Maybe universe, Allah, or whoever else. So, yun. Parang, sa 2020, both you and your partner will, ano, rekindle uh, your your love and renew your vows. Or be, you will be reminded ng mga, ano, mga promises nyo. Tapos ang advice, this time, don't screw it up, huwag nang magloko, and always reconsider yung uh, yung sakit na nag- nangyari dahil sa ginawa mo, if ikaw ang magloko. Or kung ikaw naman ang niloko, huwag mong 
ano, parang there's no need na i-remind siya. Lalo na kung mahal mo pa. Or kung nangyari to sa'yo dati, tapos ibang partner na tong, ano mo, uh, karelasyon mo, monkey, uh, three of swords and seven of swords is an indication na wag mong pagbuntunan yung bago mong uh, karelasyon all because yung ex mo, ginago ka. Parang iba siya. Siya, y- siya yung bugbugin mo. Huwag <laughs> yung joke. Ano? Parang, yun nga, siya may kasalanan. Huwag mong sisihin yung bago mong karelasyon. So, there. That's for you, monkeys. And, um, if you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Again, for paid personal readings, start out readings by Kakao, na just a description box. And, um, for choose a number readings, just comment down below kung ano pong topics ang gusto nyo ma. Ano ko. And, wala namang nagre-request ng shoutout lately, so, wala kayo siya shoutout. <laughs> okay, so, matatandaan ko lang si Vanessa Perez, Merlin, or, Merli Orit, si My New, si, uh, uh, si, Ramilin Celestial, hi, Donalyn, Donalyn, ano yun, nasa notes ko yun eh. Hindi, na, na, bura ko kasi yung notes ko eh. Si Raulo, nag-disc, nag, ano ko, nag-clear ako ng disc. As in, 8 readings, ano, 8 customers, tapos, 16 readings. Uulitin ko. Lahat. So, imagine, ganun ako katanga. Wala nang, kung tutusin, wala nang Mercury Retrograde, pero ewan. So, Donalyn. Donalyn, Donalyn. Hi. Okay. So, there. That's for you, monkeys. And if you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And have a nice one.